All right, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart and today is Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. This is the technical analysis of the stock market today. We're going to start off here with the Dow Industrials, which were down 27.4 points today, and the transports, which were down 48.9 points today. So a much higher percentage on the transport side. So this is at a comparison here uh, between the two. Let me, uh, let me get rid of that real quick. I'll come back to that. You can see on the Dow Industrials that we went to a lower low than December. Okay, The transports have not. So they've kind of held in here. Uh, let me see if I can do this uh, correctly this time. We have got what looks like a potential resistance, potential um, head and shoulders coming in here. If you said, OK, this is a shoulder, that's a head, and then potentially a shoulder, that's what would have to happen. And then you would get a move that would be equal to this distance from this breakdown from this neckline down to here at a minimum. OK, that's the that's the way we typically look at it and we typically measure it. OK, so the, the transports held in here a little bit. They look like they're in a little bit of a bear flag, a little bit of a channel in here. Um, they have not been very strong at all. They've hardly gone above this brief little rally here. Again, the Dow, trend, the Dow Industrials have only retraced a little over about 70 percent or so of their um, of their drop. Uh, let's take a look at how the S&P and the Dow and the Nasdaq all compare. OK, when you look at that, you can see how much stronger the, the S&P 500 is. And it's up here. There, it's closing almost within fractions of each other. OK, the, 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 Dow, the Nasdaq, on the other hand, moved to a new high in mid-January. OK, when these did not. OK, this did not. This is lower. This is sideways. This went to a new high. This pulled back. It did not go below the December. So it, it pulled in, got strength, and pushed to a new high up here near the upper end of this channel. Remember, the, this line and this line here are parallel, and they go way back a long distance, OK? So it's a pretty solid channel that this is in. And it's in the upper end where it has a tendency to exhaust itself as it gets up here. So we'll have to see how much more power the NASDAQ really has at this point. All right, um, that's kind of how the side by side t looks. Now, in terms of the counts I've gotten here, I think the, the Dow Industrial is at, is at five, uh, five waves up of a fifth move of an XYZ move since uh, 2009. OK, that's my, you know, I, I feel pretty good about that reading on the Dow Industrials, which means that if that's the case, that then we're talking about a one, two, three, four, five waves down for a first wave and then a bounce back for a wave two. The way I must say the ABC in here is a little bit unclear at this point. Uh, I mean, you could make the case of one, two and, and kind of a three up in here, but the third wave should be five. So we may not quite be there yet. Uh, on the S&P 500, on the other hand, um, I think that we're at the end of the fourth wave and this is the fifth wave. So this is this is the fifth wave, uh, kind of this wave. So it's like the S&P 500 is lagging us, all right? Um, and the Dow is leading the move and leading the structure, and, and especially with the, with the NASDAQ. And this is not unusual. It's not unprecedented when you think about it. All the way back to 2000, what was going on in, in uh, 2000, where the NASDAQ didn't peak till March 2000, but the Dow peaked in January of 2000. So. Um, OK, we, we looked at that. Let's take a look at uh, where is it? I want to take a look at the Russell 2000 side by side with the uh, New York Composite. And I think that's it. OK, and again, the New York Composite is similar to the trans to the S&P 500 in that it hasn't moved closed at new highs. As a matter of fact, each one of these has been slightly lower. And the uh, Russell 2000 was kind of like the NASDAQ in terms of pushing to a new high in January, uh, but then has not had the strength on this rebound here, partly because I think it went to a lower low below the December lows, which the NASDAQ did not. So part of that strength got dissipated in here and it didn't bounce back to new highs. So I think that's kind of interesting. So of the five indices we just looked at, We've basically got 
uh, one uh, that is up at new highs, and that's the NASDAQ. Seems to be doing its own thing. Okay, let's take a look at the short-term trading index, the volatility index, and the high-low index. We're not really getting, this is kind of in neutral reading. This is in neutral reading, although I must say this is at a higher low than the, back here in December, January, which could mean uh, that this is more getting ready to launch a bear move. It's, that's, I mean, that's reading, reading a lot into that. Uh, this to me is somewhat neutral. It's not breaking out. It's not breaking through new highs like I thought it might. Uh, we didn't get the follow through of this break on Monday and we pulled back down. So not sure what to make of that. Although the only thing I can say is that the high low is not at extremes. OK. Um, all right. So those are those are the indices we wanted to take a look at. Um, in terms of updates on the trade ideas. On Stratasys, we got stopped out yesterday for minus 1.33 points. On Sina, we got stopped out today for minus 5.8 points. Sina just, you know, gapped down after uh, earnings last night, and it was um, just a terrible situation. I mean, it was like you just couldn't recover. I thought it might, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it up to me. Honestly, I'm not sure what Sina is going to do. I mean, I could see it bouncing tomorrow, uh, but I'm not going to stay around and try to find out uh, when it could also gap down five points. I mean, you just, with this stock, you just don't know. So let's take a look at, uh, at Yoku. Um, I've got a new trade idea on Yoku. I think I've got a sell signal here uh, at the close today. Uh, I've got two confirming closes below the 10-day. Um, and I think um, that that's, it, that's, you know, good for me is in terms of a sell signal in here. Plus the indicators are confirming. So I'm looking to try to sell this at the opening. And um, let's see. I, and the rest of the details on the trade idea are on the trade idea webpage. Okay, so you can see where I talk about the stop and the target and uh, uh, you know an idea about an option you know to use in here, a put to use. Uh, let's see. The other stock I wanted to look at is uh, Freeport McMoran, if I can find it. There it is. Freeport McMoran also, I think, is now a sell. And I'm looking to sell it, not at the opening, but at when it hits 32.34. So slightly down here. I want to see this prove it, prove to myself uh, that this is move proof to everyone, actually, that this is uh, weak. And um, I think it will. So I've got a sell signal in here at 32.34. And then I've got the stop specified and the target specified and uh, again, and, and an option specified in terms of the put to use. So I think there's a good chance we're going to go down and, and roll. I mean, the fact we've got this 20 below the 50. Now, granted, the 50 is still above the 200, but Things seem to be weakening. We broke this trend line in here. So we'll have to see. See if we get the follow through that I'm expecting. And um, as always, we got stops on all of our positions in here. I mean, we're not going to sit here and just, you know, roll the dice totally on terms of, you know, when you get out and when you don't get out. So you've got to have the trade plan set up and executed. Executed. It just gives you a level of confidence that says, okay, I know where I'm wrong. I know where I'm targeting. I know where I'm going to either sell all of it or sell half and let the other half try to trail and run and see if it'll see if it'll run with me. So that's the plan for now. Um, have a great Wednesday tomorrow, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. We'll kind of focus on some of the uh, Chinese stocks, see where the Shanghai index is, and uh, go from there. This has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great Wednesday.